Would you please welcome Kenny Flanagan? Kenny Flanagan, junior correspondent, superannuation. Wow. So, so junior correspondent, this is new and, and slightly creepy. And necessary. I'm here to speak to the youth. It's come to my attention that young people are not interested in superannuation. Uh, to be fair, Kitty, uh, no one is interested in superannuation. <laughs> you know, and it's not surprising when you see the efforts made by the government to get people interested. Look at this video. <laughs> Our super system has become a lottery. Lucky for most people, but unlucky for many others. We've got some ideas to make the super system work better for everyone. And we need to make sure young people are put into one top performing fund. <laughs> Astounding that even when you have a delicious pig in a top hat explaining superannuation, we're still not interested. Well, why is that? Well, because you should never trust a winking pig. Or, a, or maybe because only 565 people have actually viewed that video. Oh. Oh, that is sad but true. I think the real problem is that you only get superannuation money in the future. Let me ask you, Charlie, what do you want for dinner on the 15th of March, 2021? I don't know. That's years away. Exactly. Same with super. It's years away. It's money for when you're old. Who cares about that? <laughs> kids today are all about the now. Actually, do you know what the uh, kids are about? Uh, they're about not being called kids and, uh, <laughs> and not saying things like the now. Uh, <laughs> Next, you'll be telling me all of these kids are high on pot. Oh, please, Charlie. <laughs> kids don't say pot. They say jazz cabbage, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, if I'm a young person, I want my money now, not when I'm nearly dead like you. Plus, who knows if we'll still be using dollars in the future. By then, we'll probably be using... I don't know, Bitcoin? No, dummy, space bucks. The problem <laughs> is, youths are jaded and cynical. We need to target much younger children, get them when they're impressionable and easy to frighten, which is why I've come up with this. The Adventures of Kitty and Supercat. <laughs> Howdy, kids. I wonder who's under my desk today. Hey, it's Supercat. Well, Supercat, have you got five minutes to talk about superannuation? Sorry, I'm busy. I've got things I need to push off the desk. Don't. Accidentally, meow. Supercat. Where's my friend Supercat? Whoa. <laughs> what happened to you, Supercat? You look like you're addicted to meth. I can't afford meth anymore. I'm broke. I've got no bloody super. Yes, a dollar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I think next week, kids, Supercat's going to visit the farm forever. <laughs> and remember, don't neglect your super. Bye-bye. Yeah. That's the future generation sorted. Is it? Oh, yeah. But I see <laughs> doubt in your eyes, Thomas. So what about this? How about we get rid of superannuation completely? No more super funds. Instead, employers put money into a super fund. Not a super fund, a super fund. As in super duper. It's called superflannuation. And we end up with one giant pot of money. OK, but, but who gets to access it? No one, and yet... Everyone. With superfluctuation, you work till you're 75, but then everything is free. Everything. You pay for nothing. Food, clothes, jazz cabbage, it's all free. <laughs> Our slogan is throw away your purse, Grandma, cos you don't f***ing need it. OK, but, but how do you stop people rorting the system? What if Grandma decides to dine out on champagne and caviar every night? Well, that's easy. If you want to keep old people out of your restaurant, just don't open till 7pm. And <laughs> One or two slip through the net and decide to live at large, well, they won't last long and that'll take the burden off my system. They start chowing down on rich food and drink, their dicky tummies won't cope. If Pops goes out and gets a free Ferrari, that's fine. We've seen how old people drive. That thing's not coming back and neither is Pops. But even so, this pot of money will have to be massive. Not really. Old people are notoriously cheap to run. Price check on lavender talc, $3.99. Price check on chump chops, $4.75 a kilo. Sure, they go through a lot of salt and a few band-aids due to the papery nature of their skin, but on the whole, <laughs> they want for very little. Superfluctuation, Chuck. It's the future. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, well... Yeah, I... I think you're also describing communism. Yes, and my comrades have spoken, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you please thank Comrade Flanagan? Yeah.